Right, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you miss nothing from Kiss. And right now, we are so excited to have this girl back with us. Back with an absolute banger and here to press play on her brand new song is Miss Rita Ora. Rita Ora! Oh, oh, oh. In the building. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? We're good. Good. We're all right. Good. How are you? I'm good, you know. I'm excited. New vibe, new song, new mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. We're loving it. It's very exciting. It is. It's really nice. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be able to put out music. It's wicked. How are you feeling? Are you nervous or is it just like back to business? No, I'm actually kind of like, no, of course I'm nervous. I'm always nervous when I put out new music. But I'm also now like, know how to handle my nerves. Whereas before, I'd be like, eee? Yeah. But now I feel a little more like, okay, you know what? It is what it is. You can't control the future. I just let it out. Mm-hmm. Amen. Oh, Amen. New music is sounding massive. Thank you. It's called How To Be Lonely. You wrote it with Louis Capaldi. I sure did. Love what that. was it like working with him? He's amazing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, as everyone knows, he's a well laugh. He's got an amazing personality. We all know that. But he's also one of the most important artists, I think, for us at this moment in time because it really goes to show that you can't judge a book by its cover. Do you know Amen. what I mean? And I think that that's what's really cool about Lewis. Like, he doesn't change who he is, but his songs are super heart wrenching and like super for me anyway. Like, I really loved and related to all of his music. So, to be able to do something with him was really exciting and kind of just really easy. It didn't feel forced at all. And um, how to be lonely just really like resonated with me. And I think it resonates with a lot of people because. I think a lot of people now, the more than ever, are like super worried about like, oh God, am I going to end up alone? Oh my God, I need to get married before I'm like 30. Oh my God, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. It's like you put all this pressure on yourself and I think over a matter of time, you drive yourself mad. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's nice to be able to hear a song about someone being okay with like being alone actually for a bit. It's actually pretty healthy. (laughs) I think it's important to do that and get to know yourself and be happy in you before you get in a serious relationship. Yeah, sorry to get all deep, because I know that kiss is not really deep. <laughs> but like, I feel like it's just so important more now than ever with mental issues going on, and especially teenagers. Like, It's not uh, the worst thing in the world to like go to the cinema on your own. No. no. I feel like I do that. Do you? Yeah, I do. I put a hoodie on and I go and watch a movie. I, I, I used to do that when I lived in Manchester. I had a cinema card and would go on my own all the time. Aww, I love man. it. I, lo- I love having like a two and a half hour... There's nothing wrong with it. You Amen. time is so important just to check in with yeah. yourself. It's so, that's so important. That's what really this song is about. Amen. Yeah. Well, we were laughing about this on the show last week when you were teasing the song with Lewis Capaldi. You know your way around a Scottish accent because we played this on the show, didn't Have we, you, Tom? You did a video with Lewis. I did. And this was this was the did bit. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bit. <laughs> the Hello. Hello. You know that my mum was <laughs> at my house yesterday and she was lying next to me like on the couch and she kept playing that over and over and over and was pissing herself <laughs> off. It. She said, this is just crazy. Why would you just imitate him? I said, because his accent is so strong. Yeah. I was like, hello. Hold, hold on, hey, hold Do you on. know any other word than hello? Can you do, can we get any I other think Scottish everyone, from everyone, everyone should close their eyes. I'm literally dying oh, no. because it's so true. It's like, I sound so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes and I want the best Rita Ora Lewis Capaldi and I'll see if it sounds the same. Stop. Give, us a, give us a rendition, God. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. I also feel like obviously Lewis is that's his accent <laughs> and I'm exaggerating it and I'm not the best at Scottish accents but no. I, Scottish. Do, I do think that I don't know what came over me honestly. I just wanted to copy him. And what I love the most is that he doesn't even react. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> Just let's enjoy it again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then he goes, hello, hello everybody. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Have you written any more tracks with him? What's the, is this part of a project now? Oh. What's going on, Rita? No, this is it, I think, for now. I honestly just felt like this was a great vibe. This is what I'm saying about music, why I love it so much, because this wasn't even planned. Like, I haven't even got an album ready or anything like that. Like, I heard this song and I thought, wow, this has to come out. And so I'm eventually now, obviously, going to have to do an album. So that's what I'm doing. So we'll see when we see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just think whenever I find something that I love or I hear something or I write something that I think is great, I'm going to put it out. The baby has <sighs> been birthed. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> everyone says that. It does feel like birthing your own child. Yeah. It like... really does, even though I don't know how it feels. I can only imagine it really hurts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're promising new music on the way, though, yes? Yes, 100%. More new music. album and everything like that. I'm actually going on tour 
in South America, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to performing it live. I think what's fun though is this isn't a plan. There is no mm-hmm. like, let's get an album out by this date. No. It's, let's make some music. What works, works, and we'll go from there. Yeah, because for me, I've always had the thing of like going off my instinct. You know, I've been doing this now. I'm 29. Woof, I'm getting there. I've been doing this now. Everyone listening who's like older Stop than 29 it. is probably like, <laughs> no. oh. have you lost your mind? <laughs> but in the pop star world, it's like, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I just think to myself, I have to be authentic. I have to be real. I've got to go off my gut instinct. Otherwise, you know, everyone's just going to see through it. And I've always been like that since hot right nowadays. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know. Is there a person that you sense check things with to check if it, whether it's good or not? Is there a one person's opinion yeah, that you value I've the most? Yeah, I've had the same circle since I started. Oh my God, it's like hey. three people. Hey. It's like my sister, yeah. my manager, and my a and Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Just mm-hmm. those three people. I don't want to hear it from anyone else. And they're all like, yeah, we're yeah. in for this. Yeah, and they're either, they're either like, yeah, or like, no. Boo. And then I'm like, boo you. <laughs> <laughs> and we were stalking your Instagram because obviously, oh, and yeah. yeah, and we saw you got a new tattoo. Yeah, wait, just, just oh, on my neck. Well, this is the thing. Where is it? I have one on my neck. Okay. I have one on my little hand here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I have some of my fingers. And then. Are oh, these are all recent? Yeah. Oh, wow. Little ones. Mm-hmm. I love tattoos. They're cute. The little ones. I've got a lot of them. Is there any that you regret doing that you did on a night out? Yeah, I kind of regret a lot of them, honestly. Oh, like, God. I really do wish I didn't have any. Oh, no. No, yeah. I know. I know it's bad to say that, all my tattoo lovers out there. But listen, I don't think that I would get the tattoos I have now if I had the choice. Oh, I love this honesty. Yeah. Do you do you plan them or do you, do you just have an idea and go straight in? I don't plan them. I don't regret all of them. Mm-hmm. There's some I absolutely love that I look and I'm like, yeah, I'm a bad man for that. Yeah. But then there's some where I look at and I'm like... I'm not a bad man for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I rub my tattoo idea past you? Yeah, but go on. I probably feel he's like been wanting be... this for so I've long. I've wanted this for ages, and my mum hates the idea of tattoos. What is it like a scarecrow or something? No, I was gonna get, I was gonna get sorry <laughs> mum cactus. Sorry mum, there. Oh no, that's cute. I thought that. I thought it'd be kind of nice as I well, think that's right? Cute. The first one. Yeah. I feel like because then you never have to apologize. You can just show the sorry mum. Yeah. He did it yeah. Again. It's like the new way of saying hello, anyway. So it's kind of like bang, yeah, mm. bang. Yeah. I, I became addicted to the mass singer. Have you? He so, loved it. He you know spoke what? about it for weeks and weeks. I did that show because I thought it was just going to be so much fun and mm-hmm. it really was. Yeah. Like, I've done America's Next Top Model. I've done X Factor. I've done The Voice. I've done a lot of TV shows. And so for me, this didn't feel like I was making or breaking someone's career, which is why I wanted to do it. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because yeah. these people are already established. It was literally just like guessing. And actually, I was pretty good at it. You nailed mm-hmm. it. And everyone thought I was crazy. Okay, okay, fine. My guesses in the beginning were a bit far reached yeah johnny depp <laughs> yes <laughs> maybe not i did say the royal family at <laughs> and then everyone thought okay she's lost her marble yeah. <laughs> but honest to god i'm really good at it you know you didn't you get the most right i did yeah. i sure did or i don't know if that's because i li- i listen to a lot of music obviously and i just mm. know people's voices and just to clear clear this up you had no idea right no 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 honestly like it was some like fbi thing it was honestly like we can't be in the same building their oh faces are all covered it's really serious like really serious is it gonna be back for season two surely definitely i cannot confirm or deny but surely and you'll be there <laughs> what did i just do but you know all I know is that I'm a massive fan I've had a good best time doing it and so if it comes back of course I'll definitely be there because it was it was you Jonathan me Jonathan Ross who I love we have the best banter I just love Jonathan he just calls me out for all my nonsense (laughs) Davina McCall who's almost like the level headed one but she's so good at it too she's She's really smart Mm -hmm. and then Ken Jong, who basically created the show Ken Jong, could he stop standing up He's that the man, if anyone so doesn't know, he's the man in Hangover. He's the Hangover guy. Yeah, he's the um, amazing Asian actor in Hangover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, can I, I love the show. By the, by the end, we were absolutely addicted. Do you know what? Bring Even me, on the show, I would look at it and think, am I on something? <laughs> <laughs> it has <laughs> that feel to it. It's dream. We're, yeah, judging, yeah. we're judging a hedgehog. This feels weird. Yeah, but honestly, it's nice. It actually... Not to make it sentimental, but it goes back to the whole thing of not being judged by like your looks, which yes. I think yeah. is really cool. Because who, who won? Who was, she was the girl from... Nicola. Nicola, Nicola Roberts yeah. from it, Girls Aloud. It seemed to give Nicola so much confidence yeah, and that I she think was I said, hidden. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I nice. think it said, I said at one point, I was like, this is the best you've ever, anyone's ever going to hear you sing. Yeah. Mm. Out of all the amazing things she's done in her career, you know, mm. with the band, mm. I was like, wow, people are actually going to hear your voice. So it's good for things like that. Yeah. yeah. In, hopefully, season two, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes. Fingers crossed, boys. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> you know what we got. Cheers, Brian.
breakfast with ID Mobile. Pre-order the all-new Samsung Galaxy S20 from just £27.99 a month at idmobile.co.uk. The, 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 the B of the UK. 